What is going on guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. My name is Kyle and today we have a, another awesome collection video for you guys and also some new and very exciting news is the wifey and I have finally have been officially pre-approved to get our mortgage so that we can buy our very first property. We are going to be buying a duplex that uh, we're going to be living in one side and then running out the other so that our tenant will uh, cover at least most of our mortgage if not all of our mortgage so that's really exciting for us we're you know really really ready for this uh, this move and uh, if that's something you guys are interested in me talking more about with real estate investing uh, please let me know because I don't plan on stopping here I plan on continuing to buy properties over uh, the long term so definitely stay tuned uh, and let me know if that's something that you would all be interested in. But anyway, for now, let's go ahead and get out and service my route and collect those quarters. Here we go. First stop of the day. Uh, this one is actually a Gateway Subaru. Uh, pretty surprised that this was one of the locations I was able to score on the route. However, unfortunately, it's definitely one of the slower locations. I only go here once every three months or so, uh, and it averages probably about 10 to 12 bucks a month. So definitely one of my much, much, much slower locations. But uh, since I do still have extra machines, I'm definitely not going to pull it yet. I also have a gumball machine here as well. Uh, now, I probably will eventually be completely pulling this location, but like I said, still have a few extra, so no point in doing that until I have everything else placed and need new spots for my machines. But go ahead and open up the coin bank and dump out all the quarters. This spot had $34.25 in it. We paid $5 in commission. Food cost was $10.96, net $18.79. At the next stop of the day, go ahead and open up the coin bank and see what we got inside. We ended up grossing $44.50. We paid $6.50 in commission. Our food cost was $16.91 and we net $21.09. Now we're at the next stop of the day, and while I go ahead and service this machine, take it apart, and get everything in order, filled up, and all good to go, uh, I do want to mention that there was actually three spots that I went to on this day that didn't quite make it into the video, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a breakdown of those right now. The first one that didn't make it into this video is an auto repair shop. Uh, one of my absolute slowest locations, but we ended up grossing at $10.50. We pay nothing in commission. Our food cost is $3.75, and we net $6.75 for that location. So definitely a very slow location, but for right now, I am just going to keep it and only fill it up a little bit. The next stop of the day that didn't quite make it into the video was actually one of my locations that normally does really well for at least $30 to $40 a month, but unfortunately didn't do that well this time around. Ended up grossing $26.75, paid $2.75 in commission, our food cost was $9.90, and we net $14.10. And it is a guitar store in case any of you are wondering. Uh, normally it does better, but college is out of town right now, so I think that has a lot to do with it being a lot slower. The last one that didn't quite make it into this video was a single head gumball machine at a barber shop that ended up grossing $7. We pay nothing in commission. Food cost was $0.84 cents and we net $6.16. Uh, now, this is actually on approximately a three-month cycle, so an absolutely terrible location, unfortunately. But for now, because it is just gumballs, I am going to keep it, but eventually going to move that machine somewhere else. Now, for the location that was in this clip that I was servicing, and go ahead and open the coin bank up for that. 
and we ended up grossing $18.50. We pay no commission here. Our food cost was $5.55 and we net $12.95. Now here we are at one of my pizza shop locations. This uh, location is normally actually pretty good. Uh, it normally averages about 30 to 40 bucks a month, but I only actually go up to collect it every three months around. Uh, and that's because it's about a 45 minute drive from my house. So definitely trying to increase my hourly rate as well as reduce my gas cost by not going up here as often. Another thing I want to talk about real quick in this video while I'm working on getting this machine all together and ready is how I calculate my food cost for you all. If you, I'm sure you've noticed that I now go ahead and put how much I collected, how much I pay in commission, my food cost, and my net. Uh, now, commission and how much I collected is easy. However, food cost is really just a rough estimate or maybe even a little bit better than that. But the way I calculate it is I just take the average price of the candy at that specific location. So it assumes that if everyone bought an exact amount of each of the candies, then that is my food cost. Now, in reality, that's not exactly how it is going to go. Uh, some people are going to spend more on, say, peanut M&Ms than they are on Skittles because the food cost is a little bit different. But the purpose of this is just to give you guys at least a pretty good estimate. It's not perfect, but it should be close enough. Uh, now, how I calculate it is pretty much anything chocolate cost me about 10 cents per vend, anything chewy candy cost me about 7 cents a vend, and then gumballs cost me about 3 cents a vend. So that's how I calculate it. It's really just an average, assuming that the same amount is sold of each of them. Like I said, not perfect, but at least a decent representation of uh, an overall average food cost to expect in this kind of business. Now on to how much this location ended up making for me. Uh, this time around, like I said, it was a three month cycle. Ended up grossing $108, paid $16 in commission, $34.56 for food calls, and a net of $57.44. All right, very cool. I was actually uh, just finishing up servicing one of my machines when I noticed there was a uh, Chinese food place right next door that had candy machines. Uh, so I walked in and asked if I could go ahead and put one there as well, and they said yes, so good stuff there. Uh, I guess I should uh, mention that the machines there were actually toy machines, uh, and I said candy machines, uh, but no, they were actually toy machines, and I'll go ahead and put a candy machine and or maybe I'll put bouncy balls in there. Uh, and we'll just see how that location does since it is directly next to uh, another one of my locations. Now for the last stop of the day, go ahead and open up the coin bank. We ended up grossing $30.25. We don't pay any commission, just give them a little bit of candy. Food cost was $10.29 and net $19.96. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Time for the question of the day and it comes from Azan Khan. He says, another one, let's go and asks, how much did that vending rack cost you? Now, the vending rack I have at the trampoline park, I actually managed to find used on a Facebook marketplace for listing of $150. I offered $120 and the deal happened and there happened to be uh, quarters inside, but on the downside, I did have to drill out all of the locks and purchase new locks. Altogether, my all-in cost was $150 for that very nice Northwestern rack. So, really, really lucky that I found such a good deal. Alright, here we are back home. Going to go ahead and get all of the quarters rolled up and good to go. Now, we ended up grossing $279.75. 
we paid $30.25 in commission. Our food cost was $92 and we net $157.50 for the day. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And then share this video with your friend to uh, help this channel grow even more. And if you are interested in being in the question of the day, go ahead and leave a question down below and I will answer it in the comment section. And you will also have a chance of me answering it in the video for everyone to see.